Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I create faith-based and tech-related content here on YouTube. My name is Layla and I'm going to be sharing my tech journey. This video, just FYI, this video is for anyone that is interested in getting into tech even if you have no experience whatsoever if you're someone that is a software engineer but you feel like you're a bit rough when it comes to coding and you just want to make sure that you improve on your fundamentals and kind of relearn again just like me or if you're someone that is just interested in tech content you're not necessarily in the field this video is for you if you aren't already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button so why am i making this video the reason is is because throughout my whole entire journey being a software engineer i've been a software engineer for two years now and i kid you not you know my computer science degree it didn't i didn't really learn anything and even when i learned the things that i now do in my career these are things that i've easily forgotten because the way that i was taught back in university wasn't in a way that i could really practically be able to deliver in my day-to-day -day life and that's why i always encourage people if you want to major in computer science make sure you do a placement make sure you do summer internships you know whatever you can do to get the hands-on experience because without hands-on experience you're literally just gonna forget everything. And that was my whole three years of studying at university. And you'll find that with a lot of computer science majors is that we didn't really learn much. And majority of the time, the people that have no experience in computer science whatsoever are the people that are better programmers than us. And that's something that I missed out throughout my career is actually not just having the title of a software engineer but actually knowing how to program there's a difference between being a software engineer and a programmer a programmer is someone that you know likes to solve problems but a software engineer yes by the title you solve problems but it can just be your title but are you actually good at problem solving i had to really like evaluate myself and make sure that i'm not just a software engineer for the sake of being a software engineer you know obviously i'm a christian and the bible says faith without works is dead so if you have faith in god you have faith in yourself to get something done but you're not doing the work for it to actually be executed then you're not going to see results um so that's what i realized in the long run i've been wrestling with god about this because there's so many times that I wanted to give up on my software engineering career. I just thought, this is not for me. Like, I'm not a good coder. I'm not like the ones that, you know, stay up all night till five in the morning solving a problem. I, that, that's just not who I am. And I just thought software engineering was not for me. So I wanted to do something more non-technical, something more easier. Um, but I found that no matter where I go, I'm always going to find new challenges and that's what god was teaching me and he didn't allow me to leave my software engineering um career but he's kept me in this place for a reason and that's why i want to document my journey and you know my faith in just sticking through till the end and i feel like this kind of documentary or whatever you want to call it will also help anyone out there that does struggle to code that does struggle to have determination and self-discipline because as a software engineer you have to be self-disciplined like you just have to if you're someone that wants to be a software engineer but you're just in it for the money and you're not in it for the long haul you might as well just pack your bags and leave and exit now because you have to be willing to learn and it's going to take time it's not like anything good does not come easy so it's very important that you're willing to be patient with your journey and be willing to fail i get errors if i fail each and every time i do a coding interview or you know i'm doing a project and i just keep getting errors you have to be willing to say okay it didn't work out this time but i'm going to resolve it so it's been really challenging for me to have this mindset i looked at a study 
where there's a difference between having a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A growth mindset is someone that is willing to learn and to fail. You're not someone that is gives up easily, but actually continues to learn and embraces failures. Whereas a fixed mindset is just, if you felt something, you have to move on to something else. And that, I never realized that I had this mindset all my life. And, I, and that's why I've been at a crossroads in my software engineering journey because I just had the wrong sort of mindset. So I know this is probably relatable to some of you that have a similar, had a similar mindset to me. And also, I realized that I've been learning in the wrong way. You can be a software engineer and, you know, you can get all of the JIRA tickets and the things that, the projects that, you know, your company puts you on, but it doesn't mean that you're a good problem solver because one thing I realized, especially at my job, is that you find yourself solving the same problems over and over again, so you're not really learning. And that's why every software engineer shouldn't just learn on the job, but also learn in their own spare time and practice in their own spare time because we're constantly learning i kind of see it as a university but <laughs> in the long run the career in itself you're constantly learning and there's always new technologies there's always new techniques and you have to stay up to date you have to stay competitive um so yeah it's very important you have to have a mindset that's willing to learn whatever i start i need to finish and you know you just don't want to be someone that says what if what if i did with this what if i did that and if someone else can do it you can do it too and that's how we should think so moving on the way i'm going to be learning to code from scratch through some of the resources that i'm going to be sharing with you guys so you might have heard of cracking the coding interview which is a very popular book by Gil uh, McDowell and she is an ex-Googler and I think what's amazing about her journey is that she's a woman as well so it really inspires me the fact that she created this book with so many programming questions and solutions and I also got data structures and algorithms which is by Jay Wengro, which I got on Amazon. It got a lot of good reviews and it's very straightforward from what the reviews were saying. So I'm really excited to go into those. So the way I'm gonna be coding from scratch is based on a lot of YouTubers that I've watched that kind of explained how they would code. They started again. So you wanna be able to learn the fundamentals of problem solving which is data structures and algorithms because it allows you to code in any language that you want rather than being someone that codes in a specific language and you don't have any versatility so that's why i would recommend starting with data structures and algorithms so that's what i'm going to personally do the second tip would be to pick a language of your choice so for example you might want to pick javascript python i would recommend python for complete beginners because python is a low level language and, it's, and it has a low syntax so you don't have to really learn so much about you know what things you can do with python and what things you can't it's very very easy to read and easy to learn for me personally i'm going to be focusing on JavaScript when it comes to learning data structures and algorithms just because I am a front-end engineer and I'm still in my nine to five and that's the tech stack that I actually work on so it only makes sense for me to do what I'm currently doing now. My, I'm in a rabbit hole so I might as well get myself out and, and make sure that I know the language very well. So what, what through this kind of first bit of my study is that I'm going to be learning data structures and algorithms and then I'm going to be implementing that with JavaScript and that's what I'm going to be focusing on for the next few months um, but again I'd recommend studying and learning data structures and algorithms which involves sorting algorithms, tables, trees, maps, all of that jazz because these are fundamentals that are used in every single language. And that's why it's important to get those down first 
and then pick a language of your choice and then once you're comfortable you understand how algorithms and data structures work then you pick a language that you can use to solve problems using data structures and algorithms so yeah so that's that's what i would recommend um, i'm also going to be taking this particular course javascript um, data structures and algorithms i saw a lot of amazing reviews of people getting job offers just by studying this course but if you're going to be coding in python for example i'd recommend finding a course on udemy where you can build projects and code alongs within structures that are teaching data structures and algorithms specifically so just to give you a context as well why am i studying this in this way so that i'm comfortable with doing interview questions and it will just give you it will just help you to be able to solve any problem and any project because you know how to problem solve if that makes sense so that's why i want to master that before i touch on any small medium bigger projects and then that's how i'm gonna kind of work my way up so yeah this is kind of like day one of my documenting journey so that you guys are aware that i'm going to be studying data structures and algorithms and just make sure that i master it and through my channel and through this this these series i'm going to show you guys where, I'm, where I've gone wrong, you know, where I've sometimes on my journey have given up or like just struggling. And yeah, I would love to create a kind of community where we can all kind of learn together if you're interested in going on this journey with me. And I'm giving myself literally five months from now until the end of this year to master JavaScript and not even, not even specifically JavaScript, just master problem solving. I'm hoping that by the end of this kind of bootcamp course that I'm doing for myself, that I'll be able to solve a problem in any language that I want to because I've mastered the fundamentals and yeah, like just build any project that I want. That's, that's the goal through this journey. Um, and yeah, that's that's the plan. And I'm just gonna document everything as I go along. I'm not an expert, as you can tell. I'm just someone that's <laughs> just trying to, I'm just trying to do this, you know? Cause it's not easy. You know? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll leave the links below for all of the courses and the books and resources and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and hope to see you along this journey bye